Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony will begin shortly. Please switch off your handphones and put them on silent mode if you haven't done so. We have arranged for official photographers to take photos of all graduates receiving the diplomas. There's no need to come up to the front to take photographs during the ceremony. I will be inviting you to stand when the academic procession enters and leaves the convention hall. Please note that there will be the playing of the national anthem immediately after the procession. Lastly, dear graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket and identity card with you before joining the queue to receive the scroll box on stage. You will be issued with a card logon ID and password as you leave the stage. Please keep the card as you will need it to place your order for photos. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Gentlemen, please be seated. Our guest speaker, Mr. Wee Kok Wah, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
we welcome you to the 54th graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. At the sixth session, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to graduates from the SP Business School. Our guest speaker this morning is Mr. Wee Kok Wah, President of Stanford Tires Corporation Limited. Mr. Wee has propelled Stanford Tires forward as its CEO since the 1970s. Using his stellar business acumen and relentless passion, Mr. Wee went on to steer Stanford Tires to a public listed company in 1991. Highly regarded in the tyre industry and business world, Mr. Wee was selected as a finalist in 2004 for the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award under the category of services and business products. This is one of the most prestigious awards for entrepreneurs. Mr. Wee holds a Bachelor of Social Science in Economics and Law from the then University of Singapore, now known as National University of Singapore. It is now my pleasure to invite Mr. Wee Kok Wah to deliver the graduation address. Mr. Wee, please. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates, and your proud families here with you today. And good morning to the Board of Governors of Singapore Polytechnic, and uh, especially Admiral Chan, and is Amanda Chan here? And I want to have a special mention for Mr. Tan, the principal, and to Reginald Wee, head of the business school, for inviting me. He doesn't know what he's getting into. <laughs> but when I received the invite, I was very worried. What am I going to tell you guys up there? Graduates of a 60-year-old respectable inst in educational institution in Singapore. Little did he know that I was just an average student in school. Never the top student, not even the first top cohort. I was from the worst class in my high school, in St. Andrew's School what they call a sec four removed class. That means we were only allowed to take six subjects. Of course, we petitioned and we got seven subjects. I managed that. Only two of us from that class made it to A-levels. Finally, I got into the University of Singapore and did my social science. Even then, I was very playful. I persuaded the teach lecturers not to fail me. But that didn't help me. <laughs> Finally, I got my general degree. But, as, but I, I was happy that because they had a big dinner for the two uppers and first class, I was invited to the dinner. And one wise guy who had first class asked me what I was doing there. I told him, ah, yeah, you are only first class. La. But I'm a general. That put everything correct. Then we, we didn't have to talk too much after that. I used to go to the Polytechnic then in town, near Anson Road or Prince Edward Road. I remember I used to go there after school and we locked the rooms and we started to play poker. But most of the classmates in the class are very senior member of the government now and very successful. So the poly did produce some of the top people here and they're all my friends. I don't like to mention names, I, you know. <laughs> it's not fair.
Well, I started in business early. I was 24 in the 1970. And Singapore was going through a big change then. It's a young nation. We, I remember when I first joined, our business was retrading our tires, mainly for the British Army. And the British decided to leave us. So the first thing in my mind, I was 24, I had to do something. So I decided to look for new business. The easiest would have been Singapore. So I bought a pickup truck and drove to Jurong and collected used tire casings for the plant down at Kalang. I also remembered that when we built the Kalang factory, it was under the sponsorship of EDB. EDB was fantastic then. You, you had soft loans. They helped you to build the plant. They gave you money. And even Dr. Go King Sui came to open the plant. That was a big honor for us, even a small business enterprise. You know, for us, it was really a big thing. Of course, my father started in a very small way in Stamford Road, a petrol station and a tire dealership in Stamford Road. That's why the name Stamford Tires in the 30s. And the, and the business continued in the same manner, retreading of tires and that. So I joined, after I joined the business, I knew I had to change it. So at about 25 or 26 years old, I decided I would pick up a plane, ride on a plane and went to Japan and look for tire distribution lines to have. So I knocked door from Tokyo all the way to Osaka and found the Falcon brand, which is part of Sumitomo today. And then the following year, I went on to Germany and found the German company Continental AG. Today, I still represent these companies. There are more than 40 years of relationship. And we have grew together, and all these companies are all number four, number five in the world. As they grew, I grew. When I look back at Stanford history, I find it very closely aligned to Singapore history. In the 70s, all of us were scrambling. And when Singapore gained independence in 65, I had mentioned earlier that the push for modernization was there. The government really wanted us to move out of being a backyard operation to something a little bit more modern. Of course, today it's getting better and better. In, after four or five years at work, by the time I was 30 years old, I knew that I had a passion for the tire business. I, when asked, I told them that I had rubber dust in my blood. So the, the tire business came naturally. Understanding what to do came very naturally. Of course, all with it, it became very hard work, and we like it because it became a hobby. But in the early 70s, collecting money was always a big problem. So what to do? You, you could be getting too much money and uh, giving out in credit all the time and finding yourself running into cash buying. So I went to look for big multinational companies in Indonesia and East Malaysia. Because the big companies could buy and they could pay. That allowed us to improve our cash flow. And with that, I went to Japan again and found another large Japanese company, Toyo Tires, that, allowed, that gave me the large earth mover tires to sell. So I, I, I developed this part of the business in Indonesia and in East Malaysia in, from the 70s. And that really propelled the business up because I could have big companies, which today I still operate in Papua, Indonesia, Freeport McMoran, where, of course, it's very dangerous now. You, you get a lot of terrorists fighting each other, but we are still there. 
And I even went to Sri Lanka when they were building the Victoria Dam in Maha Valley. Of course, when you are in Sri Lanka during that time, the Tamil Tigers were a bit wild. So when you take a taxi up, you have to be very careful. You got to choose a taxi driver that had a surname that end with an N or M, Arumugam or nothing, because he's a Tamil. Then when you get into Tamil territories, you know you're quite safe because you, you don't want a Sinhalese driver. But I, I enjoyed the stint in uh, Sri Lanka and uh, that really helped us to grow. Unfortunately, in the 80s, my late 70, in 77, my father passed away. My father then died interstate. So it wasn't very clear how the ownership would go. So my wife and me decided that we had to buy the business. So we mortgaged everything we had. Two bungalows, mortgaged it, bought out all the whole family, and they ran the business. Fortunately for us, the business grew and grew. Unfortunately for us, I ran out of money again. The growth rates were 30%, 50% per year. And the business required a lot of working capital. And the banks were all right, but uh, you had to be, you got to have money to borrow money. So I did my best I could. I worked with a couple of banks that could help us. But then towards the 80s, 86, a crisis struck. I found out that I had cancer. So I had cancer of the kidney. So, well, the first thing the bankers did was they withdraw the credit line. How? So I looked around and found out what was available in the Singapore. There was an American bank. So it tell us, better go back to your home ground, look for your local banks, and get the support there. So I found Hong Leong Finance. At that time, they had accounts receivable financing and inventory financing as well. And that really helped us to grow during this period to provide the working capital that we need. But of course, with uh, a current asset funding, the banks always have a debenture. That restricted your growth. So we had to overcome that. The only way to overcome it would have been to raise our capital. I couldn't, uh, the owners were, my wife and me, and we had, most of our assets have already been mortgaged up. So I decided to take a private equity. So I issued 30% of my stocks then to Prudential Asset. And they gave me the money to pay off the finance company and then lift the debenture. So with the debenture gone, I was able to take other banks. And that really helped. So that provide the multiple of working capital that I needed to grow this business. Of course, when a equity, a venture fund or a private equity take a venture in your, your stocks, they expect to exit. So the only way to exit would have been to list the company. So by taking the money from Prudential, it sets the stage for us to go public. Not that I like to, but we had. So we, we got listed in 91, and a couple of years, the insurance company exited. They doubled their money. I was happy for them. And all the shareholders were happy as well. The main focus that we did from the beginning and now is still Southeast Asia. So with all this money that I raised, the first overseas place I went is Malaysia. Malaysia continued to be my favorite place. Today, the business there is larger than Singapore. As 
As you know, we only got about 600,000 cars and 300,000 commercial vehicles. But Malaysia has more than 11 million vehicles. So the consumption of tires is a lot bigger up there. And as we became successful in Malaysia, I went up to Thailand and, of course, Indonesia. And in, this were all my home ground, and it took a long time. It took 10 years to build any businesses in this emerging market. The biggest challenges was always understanding local conditions and whether you wanted to take the risk and extend the terms that were needed to grow that sales and earn the income. In 97, I faced another big setback. I had a big fire, perhaps the second biggest fire in Singapore, or commercial fire in Jurong. The fire gutted the whole warehouse in June. It was very hot and it's very dry. And it's normal that when a fire gutted your warehouse and business, it's very hard to recover. And we were lucky, we fought the insurance, or they were sympathetic. In the end, after three years, we managed a claim of $36 million then. It came timely. My fire in my place came two months before the ASEAN crisis. Then the ASEAN crisis struck in 97. If it had happened earlier, they, the insurance company would have thought I set fire. <laughs> but I didn't. I, someone was looking after me. Of course, with all these pressures of rebuilding the business and knowing the odds were against you in building business after fire, I, I was again faced with another crisis. I found out I had brain tumor. So I, well, the only way to do is get it out. So I, I went in, cut my, cut my head out, six hours, then I'm around after two months. So I went back even working harder, wanting to build more and do more. That was what I enjoyed, that was what I wanted to do. Today we have 11 outlets in the world, 11 centers mainly focused in Southeast Asia, new areas even like Vietnam, and uh, maybe Burma, we'll look at. Of course, we have been in China since 1991. I invested early in China. I've got out. I left China in 2012. My partner Sumitomo bought me out. I think the money was small. I invested a million and a half US. They bought us out for 40 million US. I took it, I thought the price was reasonable. And the new, new areas that we are embarking on is India. It's very challenging, it's a big country. We need a lot of foot, foot legwork. Other new areas are Africa. We are based in South Africa. Of course, some areas I have withdrawn from. I was in Miami, concentrating on Central America and Latin America, and Central and South America. I've closed that one since. We may go back again to Brazil. But in spite of all these ups and downs and all the challenges, I stayed positive. I stayed focused. I kept to what I knew best, the tire business. It is a business like any businesses. You produce a service, you produce a product, and then you sell it for a profit. You have to be competitive, and you want to make sure your customer repeat the orders with you. The other more important area that I like to emphasize as I get older now is relationships. That's important to maintain good relationships all around. Number one, keep a happy family. You knew that you need the support of the family to make things work. Your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your wife especially, and then the children. And on the business side, we need to work closely with the bankers, the suppliers, 
and make sure the deals are reasonable and fair. It is a win-win deal for all. And most important, our staff. I, I like to keep my people for a long time. Recently, I opened, we opened a new commercial center in Jurong. About, we spent $25 million. We built a warehouse, 22,600 square meters. We built a retread plant, basically to service the PSA, the, the bus company and SMRT. And uh, we built uh, a new modern truck center. And to, to open this event, we, we decided to choose the staff that has served the company more than 30 years. So I put a scan on and found there were 10 of us that had served the company more than 30 years. And it was all, they were so proud and so happy that they all, it was like a big family. They were so happy to be a part of this whole event. We have more than 80 people that have been at least 10 years with us, and more than 20 that have been at least 20 years with us. I hope that they continue to stay, and uh, retirement age in Stanford seems to be, don't, I don't seem to have a ceiling at all. You look at me. <laughs> We, we have all together now 1,200 people in 11 countries. In Singapore, I have 260. And uh, we are basically in the service business. I have a plant making wheels in Thailand, and that employ about 500 people. Things are not too bad there. It's curfew, it's good, so it's quite safe. It's not too bad. I think it's safer than Kuala Lumpur. I stay very close to the business. I, I keep in touch with my key managers daily on the phone. I visit them almost every three months. I travel overseas to see all my principals, assure them of our goodwill and consistency, and assure the staff of my support. This very hands-on approach is a typical of an old Tauke. And we, I like it, I, it keeps me young. Mo most of my staff are very young. And uh, I was just reflecting that I don't have many poly students I, I would like to have because I think you, are, you could be good long-term partners for us. And on the family side, the personal side, of course the most important woman in my life is my mother. She's my pillar of strength, my late mother. And then my wife. <laughs> and then the family. My wife has been with me. We were students like you in the, in the university. And we've been married now for more than 43 years. And we have three children. My elder daughter is a doctor. She sits on our board. And my number two daughter is an award-winning film director. And uh, my, three, my son has a learning disability, but he manages in the MIS system. He loves computer, so he does well. And most of all, we have a beautiful young granddaughter that is four years old. We hope we get more. And really, I would appeal to you young graduates to foster a very close relationship with your family. And that success don't come easy. You have to really overcome each obstacle and become more positive after that. And stay focused, don't waver.
and the working hard attitude becomes normal, it is typical, it is just a hobby, and it will always be for me. As you young fellas, graduates, going out in the world soon, please remember, good values, relationship, are important for your success. Singapore Polytechnic has trained you well. I read your curriculum. It's fantastic. I wish I had that. I could probably do much better than I am now. In conclusion, I'd like to remind you some of the things that I consider important to me. Have a passion for what you have to do. Be brave in pursuing your passion. Take the path less traveled. My friends who graduated with me in the same year, they took on nice jobs. They, they're all fairly senior, very senior corporates, both in government and in, in the corporate world. They've done well. But I took the path less traveled. I became a tire dealer, I became a tire businessman, and then I went, did all the, the crazy and difficult things to make a buck. But all this time, you have to believe that what you have chosen will, is the right decision. And you have to work hard to make it success, be successful. And last of all, you've got to build a trusting and a lasting working relationship with everyone that works with you and foster that continued close relationship with your family and friends. Therefore, I urge you to work hard to achieve all this. So, my young graduates, congratulations. Come and see me if you want to sell tires. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wee. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is a short film that captures the new SP vision. A caring community of inspired learners committed to serve with mastery. It also summarizes the journey that every student goes through in SP and how they become our purposeful and caring individuals who use their skills to serve others. We hope this legacy will be played on for many more years to come. This moving film entitled The Journey was directed by Mr. Elvin Lee and his course mates from the Diploma in Digital Media class of 2011. Mr. Lee has recently become the first Singaporean to gain admission into the prestigious Beijing Film Academy to study film directing. Please sit back and enjoy the short film.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. This morning, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to 396 graduates from the SP Business School. May I now call upon Director of SP Business School, Mr. Reginald Wee, to present the diplomas. Mr. Wee, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Banking and Financial Services. Chu Yongsheng Justin. Hon Chi Yen. Lao Chin Ling Lo Ming Yang Lo Zhi Wen Rong Rong Hu Tay Kang Wei Alicia Ching Shi Ti Amelia Po Hui Yuan Andre Aditya Awi bin Idris Annie Ong Jia Yu Brendan Quek Siu Nian Cassandra Wee Pei Shamin Tan Si Ying Chong Yuan Ning Jamin Chong Jin Ting Chu Yi Tian Esther Chong Guo Feng Chong Jin Hao Chong Wei Yi Julia Chong Zhi Hung Chu Swetmin Shamin Andis Chao Mon Fei Chao Wen Yang Chua Yi Hong Colin Neo Han Sheng
Daniel Chang Ding Lun. Desmond Chung Chi Yang. Elizabeth Ann Wong Li Lin. Esther Kwan Hui Min. Go Ding Han. Go Gek Sim. Go Mei Xiang. Han Ying Bin. Hilary Ng Shi Hui. Ho Boon Jin Nicholas. Ho Zhe Wei Manfred. Huang Zhe. Isabel So Shimin Jackson Lee Zisen Janice Yo Tifang Jasmine Yuan Li Ling Jerome Ho Zi Hong Joel Ong Xuan Wen Joshua Tang Chao Jun Joven Joel Chin Hong Sheng Kek Hong Sui Marcus Ko Bing Hui Ko Mason Eunice Ko Jin Lee Chong Wee Lee Jia Wen Lee Jing Yong Lee Jun Hao Leonard Lee Ming Chun Lee Si Wei Lee Xiang Wei Ronald Lim Jia Xin Joel Lim Jun Xian Gary
林永华。刘金荣、罗家明、罗惠豪。Lu Zhao Jie Elden, Lu Shu Min, Lu Yi Da, Lu Zhong Wei. Leon Quek Chang Sun, Marcus Chong Bo Zhi, Michelle Christopher, Michelle Wei Mei Xin. Muhammad Mujahid, Mok Yong Hong James, Muhammad Irwan bin Abdul Rahim. Nasuha binti Ramin, Neo Rong Rui, Neo Wen Yu Alvis, Ong Lin Jie. Ong Yue Ling, Ong Zhen Yuan, Nicholas Ong, Noel Zhao Min. Nurul Rashida binti Muhammad Rauz, Oh Jun Wei, Ong Siu Hui, Pang Kang Cheng, Ho Wen Yao, Cheryl, Quick Jian Le, Quick Xiu Zhi, Winfred. Ron Tan Jun Hon, Xia Chun Pang Sherman, Xia Ming Jin Nicholas, C J 
Zheng Kuang Roy. Sharifa Nurul Hidayah, Haj Said Sultanul Abidin. Sim Kang Long. Stella To Siu Mei. Su Miet No Wu. Sun Zuo Xiong Tan Kok Tiong Tan Wei Chiang Tan Wei Ling Tan Yong Ju Tan Yong Jia Donovan Tae Chun Fung Tae Eng Kiet Daryl Joel Teng Yu Min, Veronica. Tio Si Yin. To Wei Kit. To Yang Yin. Valerie Ku Xue Er Wang Qin Wang Xin William Tan Wei Lung Wong Jin Han Elvin Wong Yen Chi Yao King Boon Yu Chia Liang Yu Jun Hua Terence Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Business Administration Ang Tai Wen Qi Jing Yi Chua Wei Li Veronica Chua Wei Ting Jacqueline Chong Ga Ki Ki Si Min Jasmine Lim Chu Wen
Lim Yen Lin Desiree. Ong Yong Yuan Roy Su Hong Ming Tan Sherilyn Hui Ting Tan Yuan Hui Wong Wei Kang Alison Chong Pei Lun Ang Jing Xiang Filbert Ang Wai Lin Ang Yi Ting Angela Chia Sui Ling Atika Binti Rusli Ao Xie Li Bambang Hamizan bin Rohaizan Bertrand Paul Gomez Brandon Teo Bridge Mohan Singh Casper Yap Jie Hao Catherine Choi Chi Ching Chan Cheng Wen Tessa Chan Jian Fai Benjamin Shamin Yo Shun Mei Chen Wu Ying Ching Hong Xuan Malcolm Ching Yu Min Phoebe Chiu Sin Yi Emelyn Chiong Zi Hui Cheryl Ann Lim Cheyan Tan Zi En Chia Xue Wei Chou Yi Zheng Eunice Chong Jing Ting Christopher Lee Susanto
Chua Jia Sin Jessin. Chua Yu Jan. Chung K. Yu Howard. Chai Sin Yu. Delston Gabriel Gay. Daniel Chia Quan Ming. Denise Fu Yen Ru. Eddie Lee Quan Sing. Edwina Lim Pin Siu. Ernest Fu Mao En. Florence Tan Hui Ying. Gabriel Lim Kai En. Gao Yi. Go Guan Zhong Benjamin. Go Keen. Go Ying Hui Adeline. Gordon Fu Jia Lun. Guan Jie Ting. Hamida Begum Binti Muhammad Yusuf. Ho Po Yi. Ho Shao Chen Jamin. Ho Xue Qi. Ho Yi Ling Shalin. Hon Chin Kang. Hong Li Cheng Amanda. Hung Fan Kai. Hussein Farid bin KMA Jahaba. Insira Binti Iskanda. Janessa Huixian Kong. Janice Chiu Yi Yun. Jasper Tan Jian Ming. Jeanette Tan Xiao En. Jessica. Joey Lam Yi Chi.
Jonathan Yip Chun Yi. Karen Tan Kai Lun. Kathleen Ko Kai Sin. Kyril Amir bin Rashid. Kong Zhi Yong Fabian Ku Jian Hui Evan Kim Tai and Lin Ko Kang Wei Kong Shu Ting Kao Hui and Kimberly Quek Jun Hao Kwok Sing Hong Edmund Law Pei Chin Leong Jin Hui Janice Leong Yue Xiang Andrew Liao Jun Rong Liu Jinping Pearl Liu Yu Wei Lim Makib Faris bin Mohammad Izan Lim Jia Jun Lim Jun Hao Lim Jun Chi Eric Lim Kai Yen Kenneth Lim Yen Tian Gwen Lim Yong Xiang Bertrand Lim Yu Kai Lim Zuan Chong Lin Jia Yin Lin Jin Lin Chi Xiang Liao Pei Sing Valerie
Lo Chi Wei Wen. Lokman bin Abdul Ghani. Lo Che Siok, Karen. Lo Wen Bin, Larry. Lam Shu Wen, Claire. Malcolm Lee Jiala <laughs> Melissa Lim Jia Ying <laughs> Melissa Long Lee Jun Muhammad Riyas Nur Abdul Qadir Jailaini Muhammad Hafizuddin bin Abdul Rahim Muhammad Rafan bin Abdul Razak Muhammad Raihan bin Ripin Muhammad Yasin bin Abdul Rashid Muhammad Zulhilmi bin Abdul Halim Nyo Yi Jun Ng Chi Hao Ng Wei En Ng Wei Jie Glen Ng Wei Sheng Larry Ong Yen Ling Yunis Ong Yong Wei Perlin Ong Yu Ting Ginko Nicholas Chan Ka Hing Nico Tio Ying Ying Nicholas Luke Lai Sun Yang Nur Nisha Nagur Kani Nur Amalina Binti Sulaimi Nur Amira Binti Ishak
Nur Hazima Binti Moksi. Nur Hidaya Binti Abdullah. Ong Jia Hui Angelin. Ong Jia Min. Ong Li Yen. Ong Ru Yu Shirley. Ao Pei Wen. Patrick Yo Chai Guan. Pei Eng Lik. Filmen Hua Jian An. Hua Jun Ping. Rachel Hidemi Ng Jia Li. Rachel Tan Si Yen. So Jun Yang Shami Jagan Sean Lee Jun Lin Sheena Gan Chu Chen Siti Nasuha binti Muhammad Nasir. Su Jing Yi. Surajuddin Shamira. Shazalina binti Muhammad Ghazali. Tan Ik Soon Tan Chang Hui Jeremy Tan Gek Hui Tan Hui Kai Roy Tan Hui Si Rachel Tan Jia Chong Perry Tan Pei Shi Rebecca Tan Rong Jie Remus Tan Roy and Claire
Tan Siu Jia. Tan Yan Zhi Zachary. Tang Li Hui Agnes. Tae Rui Chi. Tae Shi Min Rachel. Tae Wei Xiang. Tae Yi Ping Shron. Tio Boon Kang Jonathan Tian Sin Yi Tio Chong Jing Cyrus Tio Eng Leong Tong Jia Jin Tian Jia Le Tho Hon Hui Veronica Tio Yi Ying Vignish Cigar Vivian To Hui Min Wang Fan Wang Lian Wei Wang Wei Feng Wang Yong Kang Wang Yu Ting Wun Cheng An Evan Yan Jie Lin Yap Shuo Leong Yi Wai Han Haley Yi Zhi Min Yo Alicia Xie Ling Yong Jia Yi Yong Pei Xuan Zheng Qi Mei Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes
the list of graduates from the SP Business School. Thank you, Mr. Wee. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present the prizes. May I invite Rear Admiral Chan Wing Yip, member of the Singapore Polytechnic Board of Governors, to present the following prizes. Rear Admiral Chan, please. From the Diploma in Banking and Financial Services course, receiving the Philips Future Prizes are Aloysius Lee Bing De, <laughs> and Chiu Jing En. <laughs> the Standard Chartered Bank Prize, Ko Yon Min. The UOB Kehian Prize, Jarvis Tan Chun Lin. The Great Eastern Life Assurance Prize, Yao Hui Ying. From the Diploma in Business Administration course, the Federated Cargo Line Prize, Brian Yo Kai Jin. <laughs> Receiving the New Garden Catering Prizes are Fu Shi Da, <laughs> and Sherwin Kwek Ming Lung. The Jurong Point Prize, Karen Go Hui Ying. Receiving the Mott's Snapple International Prizes are Go Yun Tian. And Nathaniel Vincent Michelin. The next prize goes to John Chua Bao Xian. Receiving the Crescendus, I'm sorry. Receiving the Crescendus Group Prizes are Lee Min. And Joseph Mo Song En. Receiving the Den Marketing Prizes are Sean Te Wei Chong. and Vanessa Anderson. The Provenance Asia Prize goes to Wong Ping Fang. And that concludes the presentation of prizes. Thank you, Rear Admiral Shan. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present medals to our top graduates for excelling in their courses of study. May I invite Mr. Wee Kok Wah,
President of Stanford Tires Corporation Limited to present the medals. Mr. Wee, please. From the Diploma in Banking and Financial Services course, the DBS Silver Medal and the UOB Kehian Prize are awarded to Maybelline Lim Yi Ching. The Singapore Exchange Gold Medal and the HSBC Prize are awarded to Edward Ho Sheng Tai. From the Diploma in Business Administration course, the Expeditus Silver Medal and the NETS Prize are awarded to Lo Ya Sin. The Sam Kopp Marine Gold Medal and the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry Prize are awarded to Rafika Binti Mohammad Halim. And that concludes the presentation of top medals. Thank you, Mr. Wee. Giving the valedictory speech this morning is Sean Tay Wei Chong, a graduate of the diploma course in business administration. May I now call upon Sean to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Sean, please. A very good morning to our guest speaker, Mr. Wee Kok Wah. Principal and CEO, Mr. Tan Chun Xian, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed an honor for me to stand here to share my experience as a student of SP. I'm sure all of you remember sitting in this exact location during our orientation week, rejoicing over the fact that we succeeded in beating other schools with bigger cohort sizes during Flag Day 2011. My life in SP started with a direct poly admission program. It all began in early February, where I was first introduced to the wonderful DPA cohort, meeting students from other schools. It was an amazing experience, from being strangers to good friends, especially the time where we bonded together as the noisiest yet most entertaining bunch during our overseas bond bonding camp in Malaysia. In SP, I was given the opportunity to participate in a three weeks overseas immersion program to China. I was part of a wonderful group of people who went there and we became such good friends that I considered them as family. We, visit, we visited industrial sites, scenic places, and even presented our business ideas to the top management of Tianjin Eco City. It was truly a privilege for us to have the top management attend our presentation. And in SP Business School, all of us work hard to attain our diplomas, battling the constant onslaught of projects and deadlines, attending the many hours of lectures and tutorials, mugging hard whenever term tests were around the corner, and most importantly, competing over seats at full court six during our lunchtime. <laughs> and while we work hard, we also played hard. Being part of the organizing committee who made SB Orange Day 2013 possible, I realized we really know 
how to have a fun and wacky time. Of course, we would not be here today if it wasn't for three very special groups of people. I would like to thank my parents, lecturers, and friends who made all this possible. To my parents, thank you, Dad and Mommy, for your unconditional love, guidance, care, and support. I feel so blessed to have you both in my life. To my amazing lecturers and tutors, thank you for your dedication, concern, and patience in guiding us through our studies. We will always remember the things you have done for us. And to my dearest friends out there, thank you for making school a pleasant and fun place to be in and for working alongside me in our group projects. Without you, my three years would not have been this enjoyable. I would definitely cherish the moments we all had. To me, SP is not just Singapore Polytechnic, it also stands for Special People. All of you out there are the SP of my life. So please, join me in giving a round of applause to show our appreciation to these three very special groups of people and all of us. My fellow graduates, today may mark the end of a glorious chapter in our lives as students in SP. But never forget the friends and lecturers we made in SP. Never forget the lessons we learned in SP. And let us never forget that we graduated from an outstanding institution, Singapore Polytechnic. With that, I wish you all success in your future endeavors. Congratulations, SB Business School graduates. We did it. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, this year is a very special occasion for Singapore Polytechnic, as it is our 60th birthday. To add to this joyous occasion, we present to you a very special SP at 60 rap song written and sung by Brian Ong, a graduate from the Diploma in Music and Audio Technology. Please sit back and enjoy the video. Dude, was that frigid? Exceeding the ceilings of every attic that's problematic Excelling in academics and seeming too automatic Like cinnamon biscuit, I'm nibbling that dream must not stand as my creatic guess it's digested immediately They ain't not to see we'll take that number one spot Go ahead and pop confetti From up in the hilltop, down to the main library Triple E blocks and get back to bang tally Stop, not take a second to chew on that Sixty years and we're still at the top of the And it hangs from our necks Hashtag respect quality Everyone knows that's a fact Oh, what a treasure, you feel the pressure No one could match us, maybe they might But they might just go back on a stretcher oh, Hold up, hold up, I didn't mean to be mean All I'm trying to say is we're pretty much the A-team Quick and make a so here all the way to Beijing We know how to get the pace up like a fun racing One part art, two parts smart, three parts heart Four parts harmony, all parts amazing Yeah, you ever had a dream? Come to life Like you're living in a silver screen Hold the light it's right here with no more Right outside your door This dream's alive Open up champagne bottles is a toast to those who chose to go To Dover Road, Postal Code 1996, 51 Even though you lift the X pole That coast to coast, it goes to show We're overloading with pop gold gold And no soul and roll If you know you're the kind of two Computers, engineering error Planes are Ella, mating drawings and will be illustrator Froggy dissector, studio life rapper Biomechanical fashion story ball sketcher Man behind the camera, maybe architecture Aspiring business entrepreneur Oh whatever, SP will be the place to tell you graduate Wait three years later with your diploma That's why it's gonna get crazy yet Have you ever had a dream? Come to life Like you're living in a silver screen Haters, 
haters I pardon your misbehaviors You're thinking it's probably still in the beta stages I'm just a narrator, narrating from the paper Painting pictures for your lot and drooling on the flavor I'm doing y'all a favor, I'm your neighbor Telling you the truth in every quaver Let's confirm those rumors you heard Browsing the internet on your computers All of you students in case y'all are clueless Singapore Polytechnic as the best tutors Look to the future, we'll be the builders We'll be the new direction wielders We'll be at the top, we'll be the best ones Cream of the crop like birds nest ferns Put up the decorations, it's a celebration Everyone dance till their feet get an abrasion Such an occasion for us to Standing ovation for Singapore Have you ever had a dream? Like you're living in a silver screen Golden light It's right here with no more Right outside your door This dream Alive Have you ever had a wish That reached the sky Then you felt the breeze At cloud nine It's right here with no Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to stand? The procession groups will now leave the convention hall. Patients, please join us for the tea reception at the plaza outside the convention center. May I invite parents and guests to leave the convention center first. Please bring along your belongings. Have a good day.